up everybody we're back at it again with the last member of the latest dark source release and that is steiner senor steiner and this is the box art right here looks fantastic looks amazing and just like the rest of his brethren over here that he is absolutely amazing all three figures so far just home runs if you guys didn't see in the comments of, of, of my comments and also on Skelly's and, and Awesome Action Toy, they, it's just, everyone's talking about, like, dude, these, I really, really hope that they keep up with this momentum. And, it, and hopefully they do keep up with it. But I can't say anything bad about these figures. I do have one bad thing to say, and I don't know if it's really a bad thing. But uh, let's take a look at the accessories first. So I put mines with all of his stuff on except for his gun because he really doesn't have a spot for that. Has the knife on the side, has his uh, sidearm, and in my opinion, his main weapons, which are his two swords, which look amazing. And they're the same as uh, Stina's. I took, I have Stina and I pulled her swords to the side. As a matter of fact, I'll do that for you guys now. Mine's broke, so I had to glue them permanently together. So these are glued permanently together. But the handle, the only thing I would say is that the handle is just slightly thicker, I guess, since they made it for a male figure. But it's essentially the same exact sword. It's the same thing. And they connect in the same exact way. So, uh, here's his, his main weapon, his main gun, which is amazing. Love, really small. Love how they how they did this that looks amazing can't and they actually colored these too they actually like dry brushed and paint the the cartridge part and the handle part uh it, it's so this is so good you know we um in the cavalry ones some of them didn't come painted and you could tell i mean you could paint it yourself but whatever and then of course you have all the extra tidbits and just like his other two brethren um they actually put like the wrist, the actual wrist part in it, which hides that ball joint on the side, which you could see on other Joy Toy figures. And I am digging that. That looks fantastic. So he comes with four of the hands that you could put. One is, uh, he comes with two fists, uh, open hand or spirit fingers hand, if you will. And then he also comes with another sword hand um, to hold both swords with two different hands. And that looks amazing. And overall, the overall aesthetic of the figure. Once again, um, Jesus, this looks... You get what you pay for, folks. And this is, um, this is why, you know, when people praise or complain, you know, they're paying for these figures. They're hoping for the best. And they want to see stuff like this. And it's amazing. The joints are just amazing. I don't have to heat it up at all and the everything as a matter of fact uh, my only concern will be that over time we'll get super loose but as is such with all figures that you have um if you want some advice for that you could check out um d amazing he talks about putting certain types of uh gels and, and lotions and such in the joints so uh, but you should go to him to, i don't know the name of those those lotions i don't want you guys to put <laughs> like Vix or something like that but yeah so let's take a look at the articulation you know obviously he's very heavily armored so he does lose articulation um but it's there and you can for what is worth you could do just about anything you want and one of the things I noticed with him is I think it's only with this arm yes it is with this arm with his left arm he can close um he could completely bend that well not completely but he could bend that 
elbow further than any other um, Joy Toy that came on past lines in the, in the past lines like uh, these three over here they're they have the same joints it works so well and I really hope they continue I think they are because some of the promotional stills for the Badlands figures they look the same way but with his left hand it is not like that and I'm wondering why it's not because I saw awesome action toys and skellies and they were able to close then maybe it's just mine oh there it goes boom it was mine it was uh I guess like some paint was there or something like that but yes he's able to close completely so I redact that but yeah the the, the articulation is ridiculous he, of course you got the spreads and he's armored, so you can't see the full torso move, but you got, you know, for sure it's there. And then I'm gonna, you know, got the double joint, the knees, perfect. I like how they've been doing the knees lately. It's not just a weird floating piece. Uh, um, it looks great. And of course, you have, you have the swivels here as well. Well, the, uh, the, there's no boot swivel, but, you know, you have. You could go up, you could go down. He doesn't have a good uh, a forward tilt, which I don't know why you would really want that anyway. Hey, look, it's fine, whatever. Um, and he got toe articulation as well. Let me see. I get, oh no, I could, I understand why that's needed. I get that, yeah. He has toe articulation, mine's is jammed. Um, I guess that's the only thing I would need to heat up. So let's see the other side, yes. So he has this on the other side as well, sorry. Yeah, let me just see, yeah, it's blurry. There you go. He has that. Of course, it has that little pivot. I love these these boot pivots that they have on figures. I really, really, really dig that. You could get them into nice poses with that. Um. So back to my, I'm going to say my only complaint. My only complaint about this figure is that he looks so awesome with the mask on. But... You gave him a devilishly handsome face. What the fuck? You want me to keep a mask on this guy? What's going on? Look at that. The hell? But yeah, but I, the, 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 I'm clearly I'm joking. Um, but the head sculpt looks fan. All three of them, by the way, they their head sculpts are are just real. He actually looks like Henry Cavill a little bit to me. A little bit. Maybe. Nah. Anyway, it looks fantastic. I do like him with the helmet on, though. I really, really do. I like that with the helmet on a lot. Oh, man, that's fantastic. Well, don't want to keep this one too long. I want to get into the Sykes comparison. See what's a good way for me to do this. Now, put you here. There you go. Boom, boom. Yeah, we could do it. I'm going to put him without the helmet so you can see his true size if you will all right let's start uh let's start with a female let's start with big head kelsey and see how she fares next to him and it's gonna look good either way it's just that you know two different toy lines but you know they look fine together if you want to do that um his head almost matches her head in terms of height um size but yeah, actually, they look pretty good together, actually. I like these two together. That looks pretty pretty cool. I like that. Now, let's go for uh, one of the older, newer, uh, old, new, slash, new Joy Toy lines that, um, from what the customer service rep at Big Boy Collectibles told me, were, like, the first few of the newer sets of Joy Toy when they started fixing up the joints and stuff like that. I was just having a conversation uh, in the comment section of my last video about this, where the Dark Source, the old Dark Source ones had a lot of QC issues, but they looked cool. And, it, and myself and Skelly were like, it would be nice if they were to remake these guys. And, you know, make, remake them. And the guy from Big Boy Collectibles, uh, I told Skelly that I ordered one of those guys, one of the re-engineers, and it arrived with both shoulder pegs completely torn. Like, not like the one you could, you know, customize. They were, like, torn. And it was torn inside the actual torso itself, so I couldn't do anything with the figure. 
I returned it, they refunded me, but they also assured me that uh, this chap right here, held the, the Health Fifth line, um, I forgot, he said a bunch of other lines as well. Uh, the Health Fifth, uh, the other guys with the uh, with the armor exosuits, he says those are the newer ones that are going to have better joints and such like that. And I'm glad I listened to the guy. I ordered um, the set that with the three of these guys, and it's perfect. As you guys can see, they still scale with each other lovely. Sorry for dragging on with that. All right, and now we're going to get into Rego, everyone's favorite. I really hope that they really... Oh, I got him to stand in my first shot. Um, I really hope that they release the other um bodybuilder types of bucks that they that they teased that a few months ago along with him um because that's gonna look cool and get more guys like that those badlands figure look shredded as fuck too so that's gonna be fun to see those together of course with the predators and aliens and such that i like to collect i would like more horror shit to come up for these guys too like um from 118 scale stuff like jason and and all those guys, maybe Pumpkinhead, creepy. Just, just give us like creepy monsters. And this is my um, subtle custom of for uh, Halo Infinite Marine with a Joy Toy swap head, and that looks fantastic. And um, we will put him. We will put Officer Alex Murphy. Another fine match, looks great. And now getting into some aliens, uh, the one I just, uh, just a little while ago covered, and this is the, uh, let me raise this. This is the dog alien from Aliens 3. Awesome figure, awesome design of a xenomorph, but uh, weakest movie out of the three. But, figure is awesome the design of the monster is fantastic the uh crouching the running version is coming out this month as well so stay tuned for that and here we have the definitive avp xenomorph which i dig the most I, he's my favorite xenomorph he's really hard to stand when you have shit in the way <laughs> all right there we go nice oh that's so good so nice wonderfully paired that looks fantastic and you know me ladies and gents gotta get my predators out let's start out with my og one of the, the first in the newest line that they have and this is crucified armor i'm stretching him out. i mean standing stretching him out so he could stand up straight so you can see his true height next to steiner and and i have to say boys and girls this looks really good i can picture all three of the dark source members you know trying their best to survive uh, a run-in with the predator look at that just looks just looks fantastic ah, i don't even know what to say it looks that's just perfect and if you want like a bodybuilding predator you could put this big bloat next to him beluga whale of a predator so let's see here look at that fantastic ah oh, that looks great everyone well I'm glad I was able to clear this one up. I got all three of these guys. They look fantastic together. Um, I hope you guys like the photo collage in the beginning. Please let me know what you think. Uh, any advice that, that I should take. I know I'm having some issues with the lighting I'm working on. Hopefully this light was a little better. Um, but just let me know in the, in the comment section below. Please remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more. So that is it. This is That Damn Figure Show out.